I saw this post actually on the Reddit, on the Joe Rogan Reddit, and it got it's got Bill Maher talking about why he thinks he's lonely or why he's alone, right? Why he's not married. And it's funny because I think I've done this before myself. Like when you spend a lot of time talking, when you spend a lot of time with yourself, you end up talking to yourself. And sometimes you can give yourself a story, a narrative that almost pats you on the back without pat you on the back. But sometimes when you say it aloud in front of somebody, you sound like a fucking psycho. And this is one of the good examples of it. So I'm sure Bill Maher has said this exact same sentence, this exact same line of thinking in his own head to himself. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, sorry. And it's made complete sense. But the moment he says it to another person sitting across the room from him, suddenly they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? So listen to Bill Maher talking to Dr. Phil about why he's alone. Honestly, I think all that stuff is sublimation for sex. But that's me. You know, I like I always looked at society and thought, oh, people are golf. I mean, no one really could enjoy it, but OK. Uh, I just feel like if there's things that people do to either get away from their uh, spouse or because they're not getting whatever like charges them up in a marriage, I, I just not because the people aren't great people. It's just because the idea of being with the same person um, it's got to rob a you of like something that was there at the beginning that you then have to watch die. And then you get like snippy with each other, even though it's not each other's fault. <laughs> because you <laughs> resent that person from, it's blocking that thing in your life <laughs> that you know somewhere in your mind was the thing that at one point made you feel the best, better than golf, Better than bowling. Look at Dr. Phil's better face. Than whatever Look at Dr. Phil's face. thing is sublimating it. Well, I still don't know why you haven't gotten married, but I am fully understanding why nobody has ever married you. <laughs> <laughs> I totally get that, a hundred percent. Do you really think? They fucking kill themselves. Do you really? Do you really think a million bitches haven't tried? Yuck! Look at Bill Maher thinking he's some sort of badass. Do you really think a million bitches haven't tried? Bro, you're washed, bro. You literally look like a fucking ghost. You look like one of those fucking mannequins in fucking Man Madden Tussaud or Madame Tussaud, wherever that fucking place is, right? Madame whatever that fucking place is. You look horrendous, bro. No one's queuing up to fucking take your hand in fucking marriage unless they're a fucking city girl. But I love how he's explaining it like, yeah, I bat them away, mate. There's a queue of them outside of my building right now. All right, buddy. Yo, I'm... Um certain some of them have entertained it and then no. about a week into it thought oh my god trust me and that's the beauty and that's the hurt and that's the pain of spending a lot of time with yourself you seem to you end up justifying some of your nonsense you end up trying to you end up giving validity to some shit you're saying just because you're saying it but in the moment you say it to another human being, they look at you like, are you absolutely crazy? Can you not see that you are the problem here? Can you not see that you're the issue here? Can you not see that you're the bad guy here? You're not the hero of this story at all in the slightest. And Bill Maher doesn't recognize it, which is kind of wild if you think about it. But, you know, the crazy thing is about dudes, though. We don't have a expiry date. So it, technically, there probably is a bunch of girls or women out there that probably would be willing to take, you know, Bill Maher's hand in marriage and shit, which, you know, would probably be a nightmare in itself because with all the money and the fame you're going to get from being with Bill Maher, it will come with a, a high, high cost. Because could you imagine, you know, living with a guy day to day, it's going to be exhausting. Living with Bill Maher day to day would be very exhausting for the best of us. So not the greatest way to kind of go about doing things. You would imagine. But again, what do I know? What do I bloody know? Everybody's lonely. Everybody's doing things. It kind of is what it kind of is. 